over the years. And he is about the only one right now. Take your marks. Outside Nick, this really is perhaps the weakest event today for the United States. 59 flat is the 10th ranked time in the world this year. There are only three in this final that ever even broken a minute. So Nick Fink has that A cut. In fact, only two have the A cut. You have to actually have a qualifying time to make the world championship. That's 59.75. Only Nick Fink and Matheny have that cut. Right now, Fink ahead here by a half second. Mitch Mason looks strong early in lane eight, but falling back, knowing Nick was right there in second. Watch up there. Lane seven, that's Cody Miller, the veteran. Matt Fallon dead last at the 50. Does he have enough to get home? Normally working from behind, but will he have enough time? Nick Fink cruising his way towards the wall. He'll get the win here at Nationals. Second spot going to Matheny with a furious charge to get it done. That's, that's the Nick Fink. <laughs> that's the Nick Fink we know and love. Forget that 200, forget that 50. He's all about the 100 here, and that is awesome. Wow. That is a heck of a time. That's the second fastest time in the world this year. I mean, he went from 59.9 this morning to 58.3 tonight. That's a heck of a swim. There he is right there in the middle. He never really gets off to a great start. He doesn't have a great reaction time, but boy, his underwater is good. That pullout is, um, he was last off the blocks. But that pullout is exceptional. And then he just folds right into that wall. So much better than anybody else in the world, I think. World champion in short course meters. So you know the kind of turns he has. And then that, that key quality for a great breaststroker. Surge forward, surge forward, quick heels. Wow, what a swim. And Matheny, who already had the A cut, goes his best time. Two reps for USA. Nick, the second fastest time in the world this year and your second national title this week. What are your takeaways from the race? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. There's, it's, uh, it's kind of overwhelming still. You know, I've been here before, but every time it feels, feels like uh, I'm making it for the first time. So, so, so happy to see a time like that, and I can't wait to, to do it against the best in, in, uh, at Worlds. You also have a, a nine to five job. We talked about this last night. How do you balance that with swimming at the level that we just saw? Well, how do they balance me leaving work for practice? Um, no, they're, they're really flexible and um, I kind of just am able to get everything in and still able to do what I can do in the pool. And, and for that, I'm really thankful that uh, they're kind of letting me do it. They certainly are. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Second national title of this meet for Nick Fink, and he joins Lofty Company, making his fifth world team appearance. Less than 15 American swimmers all time have made at least five or more world teams to represent the United States. Nick Fink finding his best as he gets ready to turn age 30 here in men's breaststroke. And now please join me in welcoming the awards ceremony for the men's 100 meter breaststroke. Presenting awards for the men's 100 meter breaststroke, a 2016 Olympian that helped Team USA capture gold in the four by 200 meter freestyle relay. Please welcome Melanie Margallis. More medal moments coming here in Indianapolis. Noah Nichols from Cavalier Aquatic Speedmont family YMCA. Pop it on to that third step, his second third place of the meet. He 
go along with third of the 50 breast. What a swim for Matheny. Doubling up now in that 100 and 200. Lifetime best, just outside top 10 ranking in the world. And wow, this guy is money. <laughs> Jason, he is money. 27-2 on the way out. Faster than anybody else. Faster than anybody else coming home. Second fastest time in the world this year. And a PB at pretty much 30 Thank years you. of age Thank next week. Got it by a hundredth of a second, but still got it. And he'll head to Worlds in Japan with even more confidence than he's already got right now. Well, you see the circles up top, ready to see what's transpiring in the lanes down below here.